Welcome back to Biafra News Support Biafra, Dab Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending on where you're watching me from, your friends, lovers of freedom, people of goodwill, I bring you another update and video of our gallant men patrolling our communities and their towns to make sure that our people are safe. Now, the unrepentant Boko Haram's in Nigeria army that came to Biafra land to kill Biafrans are on the run because our gallant men have taken over our street to protect our people and defend Biafra land. You can see the video right here. Our gallant men on the street. Do you see anybody running? Do you see anybody being killed or being shot at? The answer is no. And our people are not scared. They are happy because they are aware that our gallant men how to protect them and defend Biafra land. If it's full of any soldiers, now you see them hiding, see them running, see everybody running so for safety. Hmm? Biafra Prime Minister posted this on his official Twitter handle with a caption that I'm going to read for you. So before I do that, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please kindly click the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to enable you get notification once I upload a new video. Don't forget to share like leave your comments at the comment section so be your friends lovers of freedom people of goodwill i bring you another news and update we are from prime minister posted he said breaking the Afra liberation army after dealing with the nigeria terrorist army today being fought off for november 2023 as they came to kill our women and children but biafra liberation army neutralized many of them then took a walk to make sure our communities and towns are safe we will take back our territory block by block, village by village, town by town, city by city, state by state, and then declaration of Biafra. This is Imo state, and it's under total control of Biafra army. Everyone is at peace with Biafra army, exactly. You can't have a full and uh, Nigeria army patrolling around our villages, our towns, our communities, wreaking havoc, putting fear in our people. You see our old mothers running for safety. Whenever they see these unrepentant Boko Haram's coming to be a fra land, it can't continue. Hmm? With the, the pro-mass on the enemies. Can you see how gallant they are? Can you see how gallant they are? That is for you to see. See how gallant our men are? See how everybody is going about their businesses without being scared, without running for safety, without anybody being shot? It's for you to see. We are out to defend be a fra land and protect our people. Those of you that all they say, oh, this is how you people get your be a fra Can you see our gallant men? Walking okay, now uh, in our towns on the street, are they killing anybody? Are they shooting anybody? Are they harassing anybody? The answer is no. Back in the days, those buildings surrounding that market would have been on fire, would have been on flame by now at the Nigerian military. But Chukwu Chukwu Kika Abiyama turned the table. Hmm? Chukwu Kika Abiyama, by his grace, the table has turned. We are protecting our people and defending via Fraland. We are ready to exit that contraption. We don't want to continue being in a country where we can't have peace in our land, where we can't sleep with our eyes to our two eyes closed. Our people can walk. A few days ago, I posted a video of a zoo terrorist army from Nasarawa that arrived in most state. People stopped walking. People look for safety to avoid being harassed or being humiliated or killed. They have to wait. Even our old mothers coming back from farm, they have to divert. To a compound, one compound there for them to pass, because they they are only coming to Biafra land to kill, not to protect our people, not to protect our people. So, like Biafra Prime Minister said, we are going to take back our territory, block by block, village by village, town by town, city by city, state by state, and then declaration of Biafra. This is today. This is Imo State. For those of you that say, "Oh, nothing is happening in Imo State." A whole lot is going on, especially in Imo State. A whole lot. A whole lot is going on in Imo State. You don't know the kind of war gallant men fighting in Imo State. A few days ago, you see hundreds hundreds of soldiers from Nasarawa that arrived in Imo State. You think they came to Imo State to protect our people? No, rather they came. The courtesy of four poles them to come and kill our people for his own selfish gain and interest. And if we don't do what we are doing to defend our land and protect our people, they will overrun Biafra land, slave you more and more. Some of you are scared that we are not sleeping while others are sleeping. Their lands are being taken over. Every other people in that zoo are sleeping except us. And some of you are not happy about it. Some of you will be ranting how we're bringing war, how we are causing this and that in Biafra land. We that refuse to sleep for our land not to be taken over by terrorists and their invaders. You think that we are doing the wrong thing. 
Well, I don't blame some of you. Some of you believe that Nigeria is the only country you have on your destination. Nigeria is not our destination. Our destination is Biafra. So if you're not happy that we are fighting for our freedom, go to Nigeria and they stay there. Nobody is dragging you to go with Biafra. Stop uh, talking down on what we are doing. We will not take it. We are fighting for our freedom. You see soldiers from all the way in Asarawa, they have, been, they have been unable to defeat Boko Haram in the north. But you see them trooping into southeast with armor tank. How many times did you see them? Or how many times have you seen them deploy armor tank against the Fulani Boko Haram or Fulani bandit? Can you tell me? They keep telling you they, know they did this, they did that, they killed how many terrorists. They, they're, they're not doing anything. Rather, they are protecting them. These armor tank and the healers they send it to Biafra land. Is it to protect you? Is there any war going on in Biafra land? Our gallant men are doing the needful in Biafra land. Just that you're too blind to say it. If you know the kind of war going on in Biafra land, you will not be able to talk. Last time we saw how they came to kill our people, our gallant men bombarded them. To the extent they abandoned their money. That is for you to know that a whole lot is going on in Biafra land. And if not for our gallant men, they would have overrun Biafra land. They would have overrun our land, taken over our land, enslave our people more and more, marginalize, kill as they please in Biafra land. Because that was their plan before now. They are, they are aware that other people are sleeping, except us. And that is why they are channeling all their, all their energy towards Biafra land. And it's Biafra land that will consume all of them. A Biafran Prime Minister said, I will keep repeating it, we will take every inch of our territory. None will be left out and no stone will be left unturned. We are going to, we are going to take back our territory block by block, village by village, town by town. You see the way our gallant men are patrolling in our, in our cities? That is how it will continue being until the terrorists that came to kill Biafrans are all flushed out from Biafra land. They are coming to Biafra land not to protect you. Or rather to kill our people. Our men are not joking. Biafrans are not joking. We are over ready. Even the world knows that we are ready to exit that contraption. That is why they keep running around, seeking ties with Germany, all their countries that is against Afri Africans' their freedom. But that will not stop anything. What worked for them in 1967, 1970 cannot work for them again. Not now. Then we were able to hold them down for three whole years, even with the allies. Not now that we have, we have all the evidence needed. Not now. They can't succeed. These things they're doing is just for these countries to get their own share before it's too late for them. That is why you see Germany uh, Prime Minister coming to Nigeria. You see, some of you will think it's for your own good. No, it's not for your own good. Rather, they want you to continue being slave and, and, and as a salon seeker and the immigrants in their country. Why they keep making your country dry? That is what they want. They don't want you to be free. They just want you to continue running to their place and they will tell you, oh, you're not accepted in our country. Oh, you're not supposed to be here. Oh, you have to go back. They will even forcefully deport you. That is for you to know that they don't want you to be free. They just want to continue looting and they're, and they're milking the country dry through your greedy politicians. Beer friends are not sleeping. And we're not going to sleep until we get our freedom. Because freedom is every human's fundamental right. The more Zoo terrorist army comes to Biafra land, the more the media end, the more Biafra liberation army, Biafra resistant fighters, Obuni will battalion, unleash water on them. And they are going to be flushed out. And after taking our territory, block by block, city by city, village by village, town by town, then Biafra will be declared. That time, you will know that freedom is not being given. It's being taken. And if you don't fight for your freedom, Nobody is going to give it to you. You will keep being enslaved. You will keep being humiliated in your own land. Mm? We call on all beer friends and those who share our vision to join hands and to work together. We are not forcing anybody because freedom, this freedom we are fighting for is not just for beer friends alone. That is one thing some of you need to understand. Those of you that claim to be proudly Nigerians should understand this. This freedom we are fighting is not just for Igbos alone. Or from people from old southern uh, 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 Nigeria. It's for everyone in that zoo. If Nigeria is working, nobody will want to exit. If Nigeria is working, look at the way the economy is. Look at what is going on. If you're happy about that Nigeria, that means you, you, you have already seen yourself as a, as a slave that cannot be liberated. Hmm? So 
those of you who share our vision to join hands and work together to safeguard our land from the influence of terrorists. We believe in a future where every citizen of Biafra can live without fear, where children can play freely, and where our culture will be alive. It will not be taken away from us. Look at the houses. They, they no long, the only thing left for them is their language, if they still have the language. That is what they want to turn Biafra land into. Back in the days, those buildings you see around that market would have been on flame by now, by Nigerian military. But look at our gallant men, how they are working peacefully, making sure everyone is safe, making sure everywhere is safe for our people to do their businesses. Did you see anybody running? Do you see anybody hiding? Do you see anybody shouting or crying? Do you see anybody being shot at? Those of you that always say, oh, is this how you're going to get your freedom because of the lies and propaganda they always publish? Oh, yes, and IPOB, yes, and did this. IPOB, yes, and did that. Those are, those are lies and propaganda to tarnish our image. Now the evidence is here. Did you see them being uh, uh, shooting anyone or harassing anyone? They are out to protect our people, and that is what we are fighting for, to protect our people and defend our land from Fulani terrorist Nigeria army. That is what we are doing. They push propaganda to you, you believe it. Because you, you are used to believing all their, believing their lies. That is why they keep treating those that call themselves proudly Nigerians the way they want. They can't do what you want. They want you to accept whatever they put out or they give you. They give you. That cannot happen in Biafra land can't oh thanks to chukwoke kabiam thanks to gold of uh, biafra land and our pm for sustaining this if not for these gallant men and our pm the fulanese would have laid sage in our land they would have taken over biafra land they would have overrun biafra land they would have been operating as they please in biafra land because that is what their flavors from south is to want for their own selfish gain and benefit for their political ambition Look at how your state governor said that they discovered 80 dead bodies or 80 uh, human skulls and 70 uh, something dead bodies near Lopanta. But about all of Zito or Jose Okano were boasting how he's the first person that brought uh, Fulanese to Abia State, into Abia, Abia State, without knowing that his people have been killed. Oh, he knows. He knew, but he didn't care for his uh, selfish gain. For his selfish gain. They are coming to be afraid and to kill us, but that cannot continue anymore. We have risen up. Beer friends have risen up to take over their land from Fulani terrorist army. And so shall it continue until they are all flushed out of our land. Let me read this comment for you, for you to say that Biafran Prime Minister is not like the criminals hiding under the struggle. He is different. He is the new dimension Ahmadike talked about. Let me read this comment. Somebody said, my son asked me why I do, why do I used to call our PM, Mazi Simone Ikuku, wind. I then replied that you can see, that you can't see Ikuku, wind, but you can, but it can see you. And Ikuku, wind is everywhere. Mazi Simone Babodobo, okay. <laughs> Another person said, let him keep protecting all our men on ground, give them strength, wisdom, grace, blessings. He said, he said, say, another person said, Chukwo Kikabiyama is with you all to guard and protect you from the enemies of Biafra because you are in your land fighting the intruders that came to kill and destroy. Elohim will protect them for us, he said. Another person said, Ebon, we are proud of our fearless fighters. No shaking Biafra is here, exactly. Another person said, he who called you is a uh, ever ready to decimate them in a way that they would never live to tell what they really meant, what they really meant in the holy land of Biafra nation. Then by most high living God almighty, when they invaded to do their worst, a wonderful leader like you, what loving. ESN, PM. Who on earth, okay, who on earth in his right Senses will compare the glory of the Biafra Liberation Army to the zoo terrorists in uniform. See men marching now, personally. <laughs> I personally love you, our angels, okay? Where to go? Biafra angels, Biafrans love you. Don't forget to wave at also when you are walking around, though, because we love it. We know you are at work and uh, 
looking serious, but wave at us because we we'll <laughs> their friends are happy. Seriously, our people are happy. Mm? Our Prime Minister Odogunwoke, if not, if not for him, what the enemy is planned to do to us in Biafra land. If you, if you, if you know how the enemy is planned to help the oppressors to kill us in Biafra land, they, they already started, if not for Biafra Prime Minister. They started mentioning the name of our men on air. And then any, any of the men they mentioned, before you know it, that person will be killed, ambushed and killed. Before you know it, that is how they keep mentioning until Biafra Prime Minister said enough is enough. That he's going to put a stop to all their evil art and their struggle. And he did. I hear Biafra and Zeja talk and do. Hmm? He's not a chukukika biyama. But Elohim gave him the wisdom to deal with the enemies within and the outside. So that is it, dear friends. I will stop here. Our gallant men took over Biafra Street today in Amos State. And the Biafra Prime Minister posted these on his official Twitter handle. He said, Biafra Liberation Army, after dealing with the Nigeria terrorist army today, being fought off on November 2023, as they came to kill our women and children, but Biafra Liberation Army neutralized many of them, then took a walk to make sure our communities and towns are safe. We will take back our territory uh, block by block, village by village, town by town, city by city, state by state, and then declaration of Biafra. This is Imo State, and it's under total control of Biafra Army. Everyone is at peace with Biafra Army, exactly. So that is it, Biafra's May Elohim continue to guide and protect our gallant men. Don't forget to put them in your prayers every day. Don't forget to put them in your prayers and don't stop supporting them because they are doing the needful. They are guiding angels Elohim gave us to protect our land. So you need to keep putting them in your prayers and keep supporting them. May Elohim guide and protect them. May the gods of our Biafra land guide and protect them for us. And our prime minister also is the hands of Elohim. The new dimension Amadeke talked about is here. And all they need is our support. So that is it, dear friends. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comments at the comment section. Thank you all.